Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. Happy New Year! And with the new New Year comes a new user interface. Now, if you've been following the Fusion 360 chatter, you've probably heard that they're planning a revamp of the user interface. In fact, if you visit the Fusion 360 YouTube channel, you'll see that they've already started using the new interface for some of their videos. You do have the option to go ahead and enable the new interface if you want to, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But for the time being, the existing interface is still the default. Now, I did ask them when they expect to make the new user interface the default, and what they said was that they were looking at a couple of months and I asked a question about a month ago. Now this is something that I've been looking forward to and also dreading at the same time because I have a lot of content out there using the old interface and I'm a bit concerned of how new users are going to be able to follow my old tutorials once the new user interface is in effect. I have decided that from this video going forward, I will be enabling the new interface instead of waiting for Fusion to make it the default. All right, let's jump right in and give this interface a test drive, see what's changed, what's new. I'll let you know what my thoughts are, but I'm also curious to hear what you think. So make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. All right, to enable the new user interface, you're gonna to wanna to go up to your name with a little drop down arrow here and go into your preferences. Once you do that, then you're just gonna go down to where it says preview here on the left column. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna see this little check mark for UI preview. Just check that, hit apply, and you'll get this message saying that you'll need to restart. And then you can just click okay, and then okay. And by restart, it just means restart Fusion, not your whole computer. So, okay, we're gonna shut this down. And when you relaunch Fusion, you'll first notice that there's a new look here to the toolbar, and we have a bit of a new organizational system going on. Um, so the first thing that really stood out to me is you have this design option here. So we no longer have a model workspace. We have a design workspace, and within that workspace, we now have Solid, which is really the modeling workspace, plus we have Surface, which used to be called Patch. We have our sheet metal, assemble and tools and if we click on this drop down we have our other uh, well what's left of our other workspaces here so you can look around at those and play around here i won't go over everything i just want to touch on the stuff that really stood out to me so within the solid workspace here um, I didn't really see much change there. We have our create and then we have our modify menu. What really changed for me is when you actually create a sketch. So let's go to sketch. Um, we'll go to create sketch here, choose a plane. And now you see there's a whole different organizational setup here. This actually I like because from teaching courses, uh, online courses and live courses, um, one thing that really threw off my students was that separation of the modeling workspace and the sketching workspace. Um, students were always confused of when they were in sketching as opposed to when they were in modeling. And, and no matter how much I tried to explain it, it felt like they had to kind of go through the mistakes a few times to really get it to click. But I think this will avoid that because now when you're actually in sketching, you clearly see a difference here. There's visual feedback right away that tells you, oh, okay, I'm in a different workspace. And so within the sketching environment, if you recall, we used to just have this sketch uh, menu here and it didn't look like you left anything because that menu is always there. And under that sketch menu, we had all our options. And what Fusion has done is they've made it two separate options. So just like the modeling workspace, now you have a create and a modify menu here. So, you know, and that's easy to kind of separate in your brain. Create is when you're creating stuff. You're creating a line, a polygon, you know, ellipse, a circular pattern. And then modify is anything that would modify those elements, like a fillet, uh, your trimming, you know, and then um, scaling offset. So all those modify existing geometries. And I feel that's a good way to explain it rather than having everything in one area just under sketch. And if you've followed my tutorials, you know that I really make it a point of going into the menu and choosing the option. Now, one, I just I feel it makes it a lot easier to follow someone when they're doing that rather than doing shortcuts. 
But the other reason, it, it helps you sort of classify it in your head. Oh, okay, this is considered a uh, create option, and I'm going to go there to grab it. This is under modify. And I feel it, it's a little easier to organize and know where stuff are when you have that option. Here's what I found on the web for easier to organize and overstuff. No one called you. Okay, the other big change is in uh, constraints. So notice we don't have uh, constraints under sketch palette anymore. We have it up here under its own menu and all the constraints are there, um, which is fine for me. I really, you know, I mean, I guess you can argue having it here in a sketch palette was just one last click um, than going up here and choosing it. But for me, it's, it's still fine. It still organizes it well. And if you'd rather have it on the toolbar, you know, you can, you still have the option of going ahead and choosing, clicking on these little dots and saying, I want to pin this to the toolbar and it'll be up there. Um, so I'm fine with that. Overall, I like this change. And this is the biggest reason right here is now having that uh, clear distinction from sketching environments and the modeling environment. All right, so I'll click on stop sketch. And one other thing I'll point out, um, and if you know me, it's, it's gonna have to do with 3D printing. And that's your 3D printing option here. That's no longer on the toolbar. You remember you had that make button here. Now you actually have to go to tools and then you can see your uh, all your different tools, which include your 3D printing uh, option here. So that's where that is. And all it is is really just a reconfiguration and sort of reorganizing stuff. It's, it's, it's not that much of a change. I do find it cleaner uh, and I do uh, like the new interface. Um, also seeing um, what some other people are saying. I know people, there's been a few uh, reviews I've seen where people are kind of annoyed about all the empty space here. They feel that it's not a good use of that real estate. And to be honest, I actually like it. I feel what's important here is the organization. Um, when I open up other CAD software and I just see like tools all over the place and all these little options and icons, it gets a bit um, overwhelming, right? And you're thinking, oh my goodness, this is gonna take forever to learn. Um, with the more simplified interface, I feel that it's a little bit more welcoming. You know, you you have everything neatly organized into their menus. And you can always, like I said, if you wanna make this more complicated or you wanna have your toolbar to display more things or you wanna fill it out a little more, you can simply, you know, you still have the option of going in and adding stuff to your toolbar just by uh, clicking on that little drop down here and pin it to your toolbar. So you can really customize it the way you want. So I'm fine with having a very simplified version and then giving me the option to use the tools or pin the tools that I want. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to cover for today. I just wanted to give a brief little introduction into the new user interface and also give you a heads up that I'm going to go ahead and start using it for my tutorials. So it's not just going to be a surprise when you start watching the next video and seeing, you know, well, what's, what's going on here. Um, so uh, give it a shot. I think um, you're not going to have much trouble if you used Fusion in the past. It's just a matter of, you know, finding the tool here as opposed to there. And once you figure out the way they've organized things, it really does make more sense. So let me know what your thoughts are. I really am interested in, in hearing what you guys think. Um, do you like it better? Do you uh, like how the old one was? You know, why fix what's not broken? That may be what you're thinking. Um, either way, uh, let me know uh, what you think below. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.